Book Species 7 here, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Farm Sim 15 Gold Edition. Yes, indeed, we are here on the new Eastern European map. And uh, one thing I did not get to show you guys the last time was this little beauty here. This came, I believe, um, as a bonus for pre-order for the pack. Oh, by the way, if you hear any loud whistling noises or explosions in the background, no, I'm afraid our little town is not under attack. It's just close to Halloween, so... Yeah, fireworks are all the norm. So here we go. This is the Neva Harvester. And, uh, nice bit of gear. Looks really good. Works flawlessly. So, uh, yeah. As I say, this was, uh, another day. Oddly enough, came the day after. Uh, the, uh, the initial, uh, gold download, upgrade, whatever you want to call it. So, you know, we can have a look around. It's a neat little piece of gear. You can see the grain in there. I think that's kind of cool. So yeah, all in all, it looks pretty good, but I need to fire the pipe out here. I'm trying to get used to using the controller, because I really, really get tired of the way the steering is with the keyboard. So, yeah. That's why you'll notice there's actually controller hints coming up on the top. Although some of them aren't that great, because uh, they're not bringing up some of the stuff I need to figure out. There we go. So, let's get this guy unloaded. Now, this is zoom in, I believe. Yep. Zoom out. What else have I got going on? Well, as I told you guys, I was going to... Uh, oh, there we go. We seem to be done. I was going to try and do as much of this using just Giants DLC as possible, um, so far as our vehicles, etc. Now, I do have, uh, as far as modded stuff goes, a couple of scripts installed. Um, one of them, and I'll show it to you when we get back to the farm here, I'm just going to get this guy back on our way. Is a mod called the Milk Max mod. Because I figure, I mean, Giants is never going to incorporate water mod <laughs> from the looks of things. And I think it's such a boon to the whole animal thing. Otherwise, they're kind of boring. So I thought the least we could do... Uh, no. Ah, pipe in. There we go. So that one gives us nothing on there, really. So left bumper gives us our other controls. And we can... Now I believe... Yeah, this will raise and lower the head. You see here? So now we can actually do that. And it will also move it in and out. All right. Well, I think we can keep it pretty low, and let's jump in. Alright, not a big harvester, but I mean, this is a fairly small field we're dealing with. Um, but the Milk Max mod did require that I did bring in a modded vehicle, which is, and you can see one off there in the distance, the big white tube, the Coat Universal uh, trailers, because they're the only thing that would uh, be used to transport the milk, as it were. So, I have done that. You also see there's a red one there as well. The other mod that I have placed on the map at this time was uh, 
A type of wood grinder, a stationary in the ground wood grinder that makes chips. And it needs to be filled with diesel. Well, kind of obvious. I mean, it's not run off a tractor PTO, so something's got to make the wheel spin. So yeah, it needs to be filled with diesel. And again, the Coat Universal <laughs> is the trailer to do that with. So I have those now installed as modded vehicles. Now I also have Maru's Sawmill installed. I purchased uh, Field 3s down by the shop and have installed the sawmill. Now I do have a bunch of other things, um, everything from Apple Mod to uh, different greenhouses, i.e. the ones that are on the uh, Vial France map. I have those as well. All of that stuff. Now it's not all installed. Um, so far obviously I have the UPK script installed to make Maru's sawmill run. Um, but other than that, um, I haven't put in anything else yet. So, as I say, there are certainly other things I am going to deal with along that line. So I've never actually used the MilkMax mod. I have an idea of how it works. But we'll see. We will see. Yeah, I really do like using the controller much better. Although I prefer a combine, I guess it doesn't really matter. I could probably just uh, hit the hired worker and have him go up and down the field as far as that goes. Let's see how we do with that. Uh, the hired worker. Alright. Well, happy days. <laughs> okay, let's... Uh, no, he's nowhere near full, so we don't really need to deal with him. Ooh, I remembered how to sprint with the controller. Yeehaw. So let's uh, grab... Do I have... Oh, I know what I was doing. Here's the, um, here's the grinder unit. Now, this is Field 14, one that we own right from the start. And all I've actually done here, as you can see, is trimmed this off even right and then simply planted grass now why this section hmm didn't come out like this section I have no idea because this was at one point as you can see here field 14 why well, you can't because all the icons are on it but yeah it basically it had all of this triangular piece on the end of it and it was actually I've squared it all off. Again, why the grass grew here and not there, I don't know. What we're going to do here, using our little zetor, is plant us some cannoli. And if that doesn't work, we're going to plant us some canola. Alright. Yep, that's what we've got chosen. Now, one thing I did notice was kind of odd with this cedar. Now, this is uh, one that came with the download with the gold version. Is that even when you shut it off, you see this sort of grass texture here on the ground that looks like maybe mowed grass or something? Now, that's actually from the cedar. And it was almost like it was spraying grass around. It, kind of a weird thing. We'll see what it, uh, what it does here. Yeah, unfolding the sower is not what we want because that puts the little uh, arm things out. So let's just lower it and uh, crank her on. We got the right seed. Yes, we do. Good. So, turn it on. Higher up our boy. Oh, he's going to use these, is he? Oh, well, it doesn't appear he's going to lower them, though, so that's okay. Yeah, it looks good. It looks good. I just want to see if he does a good job when he turns around here. Or if he's going to leave the big silly, you know. Oh, I'm going to come in at a weird angle, and then just before I've got it perfect, I'm going to go, now nah, the heck with it, and just drop the thing down. No, no, maybe not. He's lining up well. Oh, look at that. I think he's going to do us proud. Oh my god, giants. What have you done? 
Well, hunky dory. All right. Well, we get. Uh, it's rather a pleasant surprise. So. Oh. And our harvester is just ready for us. Good timing. Good freaking timing. So we will be piling that straw into bales, and I'm actually uh, quite anxious to do that. <laughs> yeah, pick a button, any button. Yeah, you get such uh, a smoother, nicer looking simulation to the ride with the controller. I would have loved to have uh, picked up the Cytex system. Um, although, oh, I was watching a YouTuber doing an unboxing of it the other day. And uh, it, I just hate it. Uh, the guy's got a nice shiny G27 sitting on his desk already. But he's unboxing this thing from SciTech and he's treating it like it was, you know, cost him a buck down at the dollar store and that sort of thing. Just, uh, you know, and I'm sitting there going, oh my god. You know, if I could actually afford to buy one of those, I would be in farm sim heaven. You know, but, and it looks like a pretty cool piece of gear. But, uh, I had actually saved up the money to buy it, and then unfortunately I realized that I needed to go in and get my glasses changed, because that's the one thing with getting old, is you eventually reach a point where things just don't work that well. And having been a goldsmith for a number of years, I kind of did my eyes in. Oh, I know what I want. I want the tractor. <laughs> Come here, you. How full are you? Oh, not even half, eh? All right, uh, detach. So yeah, unfortunately, and uh, let me tell you, it's not a cheap thing to do. I haven't actually upgraded my glasses in, uh, well, 25 years. So, kind of my fault. Kind of. But, uh, yeah, not cheap at all. It cost me everything I'd put away to buy the SciTech gear and more. Let me tell you, wow, man. I guess they just don't give a damn if you go blind. I know they say Canada's got a really good medical system, but let me tell you something. When it comes to uh, medical, yeah, we do. When it comes to something like uh, going to the optometrist, you can actually see and find your way to some place that'll give you medical. Uh, not so much. But anyway, enough of my whining. So, bottom line, no, I unfortunately will not be getting that unit. And wow. <laughs> All right, so there's our Milk Max machine. And what we need to do here... Get ourselves backed up to it. There we go. And we can offload our Milik Unload A. I know, we didn't have very much, but our cows aren't exactly super productive because we've uh, given them, well, next to nothing. Which, let's face it, uh, next to nothing is seldom the best incentive a person can come up with. I don't think I really want to drive over there. There we go. We'll just sneak out here onto the road. Mm -hmm. Oh well, there's nothing in the silage pit, we'll just drive through there and pretend we didn't. You guys didn't see that, right? No? Good, 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 good. You first need to fill the implement. Yes, yes I do. So yeah, this uh, milk trigger here is included with the uh, Milk Max mod, which by the way you can get on Maru's site. So, uh, yeah. And... Okay, I know detach. Oh, is there nothing to fill? Hello? No, apparently that's uh, empty at the moment. So let's drop it down. Ooh, he's doing such a fine job. Fine, fine job. And... How's Mr. Harvester? 
Are you almost full again? Not quite yet. Ooh, you might have trouble there in a couple of rows, eh? Those trees are a little bit on the tight side. You're not flashing yet, so... I'm just going to cut through the old wood chip pile here. And grab ourselves... This bad boy. Because straw is important, and we don't have a loading wagon. Oh, the reason we have so much money, don't worry about it, we're actually, uh, the part that says 50k, that's a lie. We're actually sitting at about $7,800. That was just because I had to, uh, it's 250k for Maru Sawmill. So yeah, the closest I can do on that is 300. So, I will settle that up indeed. Alright, let's unfold the bailer. I didn't realize it needed unfolding. Oh, there we go. Gotta get them training wheels down. Yeah. Let's lower it down. Let's turn it on. Let's uh, climb aboard our beautiful tractor. Oh. Yeah. I guess as soon as uh, we can here, I'm gonna have to uh, <laughs> buy something to wash these. I forgot. That's one thing with the standard gear, man. It is going to get dirty. Well, we're not going to be making many bales. And I suppose that's alright. I suppose that's quite alright. Looking at 4,000 even. Apparently. Alright. Unload bailer. Meek. Pure chunk. Close your back up. Well, left. Continue on. See, as I say, as we go along here, and as long as it doesn't seem to be having too much of an effect on the map, I will see about adding a few more things. Just, well, as I say, and as we're all aware, Giant's not much on, uh, you know, up in the script value on their maps. I mean, we're still at a point after all this time where we don't even have... Uh, you know, gates and doors that will open for us as we approach them and things like that. Which, oh, you know, you look at you look at a script like Animation Map Trigger now. It's so tiny. You gotta wonder, are they really, really, really um, that far behind that they can't come up with such a tiny script and whatever it takes to add that script to the back you know because i mean let's face it it just can't be much you know not to belittle the guys that came up with the mod but you know you look at it and i mean we're not talking you know if a tractor's 30 megs to mod and throw on there well you know these scripts for things like animation map trigger are like 70 something kilobytes so they're just teeny. You know, they can't be that tough. Once you figure out the, the actual trigger on the door. Oh, well, anyway. So as I said, we'll probably add a few more things as we go along. Yep. Oh, did I miss a bunch? Still not used to dual stick driving. <laughs> Alright. 
How's everybody else doing? Because I got a feeling. Where's our harvester? Mr. Harvester. Yeah, he's just sitting there. So I'm going to go empty him again, guys. Next time, when we get back, this field will be done. That field will be seeded, and we'll probably give it a spray. Yeah, you can see him off in the distance working away. And we'll uh, get these bales to our cows where they do some good. So, really hope you enjoyed the episode. Have yourselves a real... Well, I guess it's kind of late for that. I was going to say have a safe and happy Halloween. Um, tonight is Halloween, but of course by the time I post this, it will be November the 1st. And Halloween will be history for another year. And Walmart will already have all their Christmas stuff in place. <laughs> but uh, anyway, if you like the video, if you like the series and want to see more or don't want to see more, well, there's a like button and there's a dislike button. Feel free to use them at your discretion. Comments are welcome and encouraged. Beyond that, all the YouTube stuff, shares, favorites, that's all greatly, greatly appreciated. Till next time, guys, this has been Species 7 coming at you from Farm Sim 15 Gold Edition and our new Eastern European map. I really love the map. I really do. I like this. I hope that... Uh, when the code is put over so that the modders can actually do it. I hope someone chooses this map and, uh, you know, throws the piggies down, throws the water mod down, blah, 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 blah. But until then, well, not until then, until next time we uh, put up another episode, ciao for now.